Hi, my name is Lance and this is my project for Design 4. Um, our, this term, we were tasked to do vegetative architecture, which focuses on plants and find ways to propagate it according to its needs. So, when picking up plant, I ended up with a cannabis plant since I wanted something that's relevant in today's time, which is a pandemic. Cannabis is composed of cannabinoids such as THC, which makes you high, CBD, which is used for treating people with seizures because it's, uh, it's for relaxing it's for anti-anxiety and for anti-inflammatory and then there's terpenes which according to studies can help uh, limit the effects of COVID-19 so it's like an additional line of defense just like wearing a mask or drinking vitamins so that's how, that's why I picked uh, medical cannabis a specific strain of cannabis and I ended up with uh, Charlotte's Web because it has high CBD content while having little to none THC content because we don't want um, people getting high when they get medication from the cannabis and next we picked a site that's gonna be useful for our program and then I ended up with this site since it's the only pedestrian bridge from the business area going to the mall so every time that there's lunch break people who are gonna buy their lunch are going to have to pass through that site so given that it's gonna be creating a lot of opportunities for the building to have a, a food establishment or a cafe. Among the other studies that I did for the building, one that's really important was sun carving and wind wind analysis because cannabis needs a really demanding amount of sunlight to propagate or thrive. In its vegetative state, it needs 16 hours of light daily, and then with the flowering stage, it needs 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. Another thing to note about the site is, just across the, the building is a school, and at night, it's, it doubles as a Tai Chi grounds, so it would be great to provide an alternative space that they don't need to reorganize every time they do it. The Tai Chi program fits well with Charlotte's Web since Charlotte's Web has a great anti-inflammatory trait which is good for muscle recovery so it's also good for gym goers just lay low after a session. For an alternative way of ingesting CBD People have been known to put marijuana in brownies and all sorts of baked goods so it would only make sense to provide a bakery for the structure. So given all that, the main program for my project would be a bakery, cafe, and the massage area for recovery. For my previous for my previous iterations, I've run to similar problems, which was having not enough natural light getting into the structure itself. So I wanted to challenge the conventional typology of having floor slabs dividing each floors. So in replacement for that, uh, undulating platforms would allow light to pass through the gaps of each level. 
to further support this typology, I applied perforated floorings so that there's minimal loss of light going through the material. And then the next problem I faced was how was it gonna stand? So I was thinking of Charles Webb. The web itself has inter intersections where things can stick onto it whatever the ink line is. So the web is structured in a way that the intersections are the strongest points. So given that the, the architectural counterpart of it is a diagrid. So a diagrid combined with the undulating platform typology, it worked. This plant flowchart details every process of propagating the cannabis plant from seedling until being uh, a product and then this commercial flowchart is how the business would work combined together we get this synthesis which includes everything it needs to function together on the other hand this space matrix shows how each person in those charts relate to each other the undulating platform typology also deletes how you perceive a typical floor because on the undulating platform it never ends there's always a next step and a next step and this undulating platforms doesn't terminate until the very roof on the plot itself i created a party of its housing by getting its diameter and making a cube out of it and having this cube connect to each other is suggestive is suggestive of a modular system which i explored eventually to maximize the space i took the radius of that plant from that cube and created a hexagon instead so having that hexagon allowed me to create four times more plants on the same footprint as compared to the cubes. Having this, I continued to refine the design and came up with a more realistic design with a concept of interconnectedness. To, to meet the demands of this plant, which needs 16 hours of light daily, uh, a supplemental light is integrated into the modules itself. And on top of the light is a sprinkler system for irrigation and for the drying process a sampayan is integrated into the underside of the modules to act as a hanger for the plants combining the program together in a way that's loose and decompartmentalized the different programs are meshed together as illustrated in this diagram um, it's like the small spaces fit through the gaps of the larger spaces which are the cafe seating areas and this is the exploded axonometric diagram to better illustrate how the building flows so here is the front elevation of the building while well, this is the right side next is the long section which shows how the cafe is the sort of the center of the web and branches out through the entirety of the building here on the cross section we can see the finger like columns that are connected to the bakery and the rainwater catchment systems this is because uh, those columns are the channels where the pipes are gonna be hidden away and that concludes my project and what I think we can get from this is by decompartmentalizing the programs in the building